testing. We're going to go ahead and get started. Feel free to continue to eat. we got a lot more chicken over here if you want to get some more chicken. We're going to start. We're going to let our SAC representative, Whitney Lewis, talk a little bit about uh, Division Three and just kind of the relationship with the faculty. And we're going to honor some faculty here in just a minute. So I'm going to turn it over to Whitney. By the way, SAC was named the uh, uh, Organization of the Year last week. So we're real proud of SAC. much. Whitney's done an outstanding job this year. Really proud of the job that she did with SAC. I want to take just a minute. We're really excited. We've got some faculty and staff here. We're going to do this in random order, but we want to acknowledge what we had is each of our teams went and we voted and chose or selected an outstanding faculty or staff member for each of our teams. And the funny thing is there's a lot of crossover, a lot of our teams. So we made each team choose a different one. So we just ended up sharing. It's kind of neat. It's, just, it's a lot of the same people's names came up. So I'm going to start since I'm first. And I'll let my seniors present this because uh, the, they both have him. We, the baseball team, is recognizing Dr. Robert Wofford. So come on up front. We're gonna make you stand up here for a minute. And I'm gonna pass off the mic since I see Coach Atkins. Thanks, Jimmy. Thank you. We thank Dr. Wofford. Again, like Jimmy said, there's a lot of crossover. And so just because you were chosen, you're being presented by one team, you probably were chosen by several of them. Um, okay. We thank you so much for all that you do for our student athletes as they represent the university uh, really around the region and around the nation. Um, you make that possible for them. Rochelle? No, I thought one of my girls was going to maybe talk, but maybe not. All right, softball team would like to present Dr. Pete Leroy. Wow! Michelle's got a lot of talent. Rapping the talent. Okay, that Pete, Pete, come on up here with the girls. Come on, bring him up here. Come on. There you go. Pete Leroy, we really appreciate all you do for us. Thank you. Coach Farrell? Okay, the men's basketball representative is Buddy Smith. Buddy. I'm not going to say 98, but Coach Clark said he was faculty rep for a long time here. All right, uh, we've got two. We've got a women's tennis. We'll go women's first. For the women, it was Phyllis Johnson. Phyllis, come on up here. Oh, we love you so much, Phyllis. We had all of our events. I feel like you have to sneak out to come watch us play sometime, but we thank you for that. Go over there and get your picture taken. Go on. Hey, no, thank you, Phyllis. And for the men, Dr. Sean Coleman, come on up. Dr. Coleman, he texts me and, and tweets me and emails me to find out how we're doing when we're on the road. And we definitely appreciate the help. And uh, 
He's passing plenty of my guys for his biology class, so we appreciate that. Thank you. Keep it up. You keep up those A's, okay? Thank you. Next, we'll do uh, men's soccer. I'm going to actually let my captains speak. They want to express their appreciation. So this is senior Adrian Nunez and Travis Leak. All right. Hey, everyone. We would like to thank Reverend Gabbard as our supporters. I want the Ozark soccer team to stand up and give her a round of applause. Come on up. to thank you for coming out at every single game and love the support. Hey guys, um, we wanted to represent, or we chose um, Emily Morrow because before every game we have a game day speaker whenever we have home games and she's been a repeated um, speaker for us like years in and years out and she always comes and talks to us about positive attitude and so she's been more of like a life coach for us also so it's not just all about soccer with her so if you can come up here On uh, behalf of the uh, women's basketball program, uh, they chose uh, Dr. Brett Stone, and I don't think uh, Mr. Stone's here tonight. <laughs> but we appreciate, and I know all the physical education people, you know how much he does for you, and uh, we appreciate him. Thank you. Well, for both men and women's cross country, uh, we had a lot of great options. Uh, we had a lot of great support. Having the two home races really does help our sport. Um, uh, looking at some of the participation, we came down and, and uh, selected Mr. Eric Kraus. Uh, Mr. Kraus couldn't be here. He's actually teaching class, but Mr. Kraus actually came to three of our meets, two home meets and one of the away meets, which was really exciting to have some, some support away from campus. So we selected Eric Kraus. No. Okay. We get the faculty in the front, so we can get a picture real quick. Stacy Key is another one. He's kind of our faculty athletic rep, so we didn't acknowledge him, but we need to acknowledge him. Get over here, Stacy. Stacy's outstanding. He's he's always on board with us. We appreciate his support. Thank you very much. We appreciate your support. I want to take just a minute before we get into the uh, ceremony. I want to have President Dunsworth come up here and talk about some exciting things going on in the athletic department. So we get President Dunsworth up here and let him talk about some things going on. Good afternoon. Can folks hear me? Fantastic. We've got a few changes coming up that are going to happen over the summer while you're away, and I want to make sure you guys know what we're doing so that uh, you're prepared when you come back. First, let's talk about some physical changes that are going to happen. You've heard a lot of questions about the pool. Maybe you've had some questions about the pool. While you're away, we're going to fill it in and turn it into an auxiliary gymnasium. At the same time we're doing that, we're going to take one of the racquetball courts and take the free weight weight room downstairs and move it upstairs. A couple of reasons we're doing that. One is it will hopefully allow the athletic training space downstairs to spread into what is currently the weight room. It will also bring some of the behavior. That's okay to applaud there. We need some additional space and someday soon maybe some additional support to help you guys on that side. The reason why we're creating the auxiliary gymnasium is that we're gonna launch four more athletic programs in the fall. Do you all know that? 
Some of you don't know that? All right. We're launching wrestling. We're launching cheer and stunt. Cheer and stunt will be competitive. Yes, there is cheerleading as we have now, but what we're looking at is for a competitive program, and we will also be expanding rifle and archery to compete on the national level. Uh, we are actively searching for coaches for all of those programs. Finalists for wrestling and cheer and stunt will possibly be here as quickly as next week. Uh, we'll be hiring those folks hopefully by the time commencement rolls around and wrestling, it is possible, will have a squad representing us in the fall. Anything else you wish for me to mention? I just lost Jimmy. I'm right behind you. He's right behind me. Okay. A couple of uh, things, or I guess one other thing I want to make sure you all know that a member of the staff that joined us earlier this year that I don't know if you know, Vice President Havis to my right, standing over here in the purple raising his hand. Yeah. We've made a couple of structural changes in that Jimmy now reports to Joe as it relates to enrollment and the belief and the acknowledgement that athletics is a significant part of the institution. Currently about 37% of our students are varsity athletes. It is my bet within the next year that number will push to more like 45 to 48% of the student body will represent us uh, not only on campus but away uh, and hopefully wearing a a jersey with pride. Know that the administration, the board, all of us uh, believe in what you do and believe in the opportunity that, uh, as Whitney mentioned, that uh, participating in Division III athletics, athletics can provide, and we're hoping to create more of those opportunities in the coming months and years. If you have any questions about any of that, please feel free to stop me on the sidewalk, swing by my office, ask. Uh, we're, we think it's a, a good move for us. Uh, to, to create those opportunities and, and we're excited to see what will happen. We're also pretty excited about what it'll do to the other end of the gymnasium uh, as we maybe see lights on in that end a little more often than, than you see them now. So, great, and again, thanks for representing us. And uh, Jimmy, please. Thank you. This time we're going to recognize each sport and let uh, the coach talk about the conference-wide winners, well, academic all-conference, and any all-region and all-Americans. And we're going to start with softball, Coach Laurie Atkins. Okay. Um, softball, uh, just a year in general. Um, we can say that we enjoyed it. It was a struggle. Some years are. But in those years, the character really comes out, and I think that the character of our girls was the best this year since I've been here. And I'm extremely proud of them for that. Uh, they get along with each other better than any group that I've had. And uh, again, very proud of them for that. A couple of them ended up getting uh, some conference and national awards, and uh, they're very deserving of it. So girls, as I say your name, would you please come up here? Uh, all conference, we just found out and those are Molly Bowman and Haley McKee. Got all conference in the American Southwest Conference. Way to go, ladies. Way to go. Uh, we had the ASC All Academic Team. That is Molly Bowman, Haley McKee, Tabitha McLean and Shawnee Sorensen. Way to go, again. Academics is such a huge part of what we do, and these girls represent in the classroom, uh, on the field, and off. Way to go. Uh, and then one national award, and that was the NFCA All-American Scholar Athlete. That's Molly Bowman. Very decorated athlete. Uh, very proud of them. Thanks so much, girls. This time we're going to bring our new men's soccer coach up. For those of you who didn't know, we just hired a new soccer coach, Matt Torok. Thanks. Uh, just to kind of recap our season, it was kind of a roller coaster. Um, we started off real hot, uh, and then kind of we got into conference. Um, we didn't perform against some of the teams we should have beat, but uh, we performed against the top of the conference. Uh, the big goal, obviously, we set was to kind of get back in the playoffs. Hadn't been there since 2009. And uh, I have to thank the seniors 
the whole team, with the seniors for getting us back there. Uh, so that's, some of them aren't here. Uh, those here stand, Eloy, Marcus, Stan, come on, come on, come on. Uh, Adrian, Josh isn't here, Cole's not here, Patrick's not here. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Um, all right, moving on. All ASC, we did get some recognition. Second, well, I'll start with honorable mention, 6'4 uh, goalkeeper. Very proud of him. Austin Benner. And then Sean Keane. He was a little disappointed, but I, I'm very impressed with Sean Keane because he played in three different spots the whole year. So I think that speaks volumes because he's seen by his other the other coaches in the conference at three different spots and he still got recognition. So that's a pretty big deal. Second team all conference, we got senior Eloy Slogato. Oh, yes. We will miss you. <laughs> uh, he got keyed on a lot more this year and still got goals and uh, just a great player. We'll miss you. And then Travis Leach in our center back position. Solid defender. He'll destroy you. <laughs> Don't get in his way. And then finishing with uh, all academic, Austin Benner. Cole DeVos, Josh Duncan, Glenn Hawthorne, Travis, Adrian, Tony Ramos, and Junior. Take a stand, guys. Thank you. Uh, at this time, we'll recognize the women's basketball team. It's Coach Carl Ramsey. Hey, by the way, uh, I would like for you to show your appreciation to the coaches. They came out here this afternoon at 145 and, and cooked burgers and chicken all day. So give them a round of applause. And I want to say thank, thank you. you to Darrell Williams, uh, who also helped cook those burgers. Uh, you should thank the burgers for good. The ones around the edges, those were the ones we didn't drop. They were really good. The um, women's basketball team, stand up, please. First of all, go ahead and stand up and keep standing. We're not in that good of shape. First, I want to introduce Jordan Farrell. Jordan was my assistant this year. I want to uh, thank her for what she did. Um, the rest of the team, before the season started, uh, we had lost Jordan and Chelsea Glasscock from the year before. Uh, two outstanding players that were all conference. And we didn't get much respect in the preseason poll. I think we were picked 10 out of 12. Um, we started out uh, real slow. I think we were 3 and 10 the first 13 ball games. And then in the middle of the season, we started playing a lot better and finished real strong. Uh, ended up sixth place in the conference. We uh, made it to the tournament, um, played the number three seed, I think six, eight point game. They went on to be runner-up in the conference, so I think we overachieved as a team, and I'm proud of each and every one of these. Thank you, girls. We had uh, five girls that were named academic all-conference, uh, Jordana Andrews, and eventually you'll get a certificate. Annabelle Fiddler, Rochelle Goldman, Ashley Hips, and Libby Nippabotta. We had a, a young lady that was named an honorable mention uh, all-conference team, Kendra Davis. Come up here, Kendra. I'll give you this. Kendra was also player of the week. One week she had 30 points and 20 rebounds in the game against Sol Ross. We had one other player named All Conference, uh, Taylor Farmer. We have uh, six or seven of these players coming back next year. Uh, we have about the same number coming in. 
Uh, we expect a lot of leadership out of these young ladies that are sitting here, and, and we expect the freshmen that are coming in to contribute. So uh, we're looking forward to next year. Thank you. This time, men's basketball, Coach David Farrell. Like Coach Ramsey was talking about, we were given a little less respect. Uh, we were picked 12th going into the ASC, a distant 12th uh, by a landslide 12th. And we didn't finish probably where we wanted to, but we were ninth. I was proud of this group. Uh, we had some signature wins for our program. We beat Hendricks down the road for the first time in a while. We beat Texas Tyler for the first time in a while. Beat Concordia for the first time in a while. We won a game on the road, Andrew, which was fun. So we did some good things, and this team uh, played hard uh, every game. And uh, I think uh, it's an all-time high of, of athletes in Arkansas wanting to come here to play basketball is because we got the word out that, that this group would play hard. I was very proud of them. Uh, all, all academic ASC, if you'll just come on up, Spencer Coomer and Adam Geller. Josh Farrell was voted the Freshman Player of the Year and on the All-Freshman Team. Ricky Allen, a senior, was voted Honorable Mention All-District, and he also was a Player of the Week, which is an outstanding honor. Ricky Allen. He lifeguards on the side. I'd also like to thank Coach Buchanan this year, and uh, well, we also had Dylan Baller who volunteered. So give them a round of applause. Thanks. Well, we got a minute. I'm not going to let him talk, but our rock star was again trainer of the year, Chad Floyd. Stand up, Woo! Chad. Right? Yeah. All right, we'll go to women's soccer, Coach Brian Drotar. Thanks. Um, not, but I'm not big on speeches, so hard to follow some of these coaches. But uh, we had one all-conference player. That would be Vicky Romero. If you would stand up. And academic all-conference: uh, Kristen Callahan, Hannah Carter, Kanisha Eckert, Mary O, Cody Freeman, Haley Gilliam, and Monica Seiler. Well done, ladies. <laughs> And our, as a team, we received the uh, National Soccer Coaches Association of America Academic Team Award. And um, in the, this year, uh, we had a good year. And in the funny mathematical sense, we have more returners than we had players on the field in the fall. So not sure how that happened. And one last recognition to Monica Seiler. Happy birthday. Oh. This time, cross country, Coach Brian Hull. <coughs> I'm going out of order. I apologize. <coughs> Men and women's cross country, I'd like to uh, bring up the uh, ASC All Academic team first. Uh, on the men's side, Bryant Ford, Matthew Fryant, Trent Ewington, and Max Hilgendorf. And on the ladies' side, uh, Kara Wilbanks, and then Shannon Haney, and she graduated in December. So congratulations. We had a lot of bright spots this year. Uh, started off a little bit slow time-wise, progressed throughout the season, had a, had a pretty strong showing time-wise by the end of the year. Uh, looking at some of the, the rest of the conference recognition, Kara Wilbanks was selected as the ASC Runner of the Week uh, at the end of October. Uh, one other note, let's go ahead and bring Ryan Holt up. I'm going to talk a little bit about Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Holt was selected by the American Southwest Conference four, time as, four times as Runner of the Week uh, the, throughout the season, we saw a lot of very strong competition. 
not only Division three, but we saw a lot of uh, Division one, AA, uh, and Division two schools as well. So we saw a lot of great competition. A little bit about what we did in the conference championships. Uh, Ryan Holt was second overall. He earned the American Southwest Conference Freshman of the Year. Finished right behind uh, a runner from UT Tyler about, about three seconds. Uh, great turnaround to that story. Ryan got to participate in the NCAA South South Regional Meet. Uh, two weeks later in Newport News, Virginia, and I'm glad to say he torched the runner from Tyler. So I'm always I'm always glad to say that. So congratulations, Ryan. With that, uh, Ryan finished 14th, which uh, placed him in the NCAA All Region team, and he is also on the in uh, the All Region academic team as well. Also, he did set the uh, program record, running a 25:38. You can imagine running about five miles that quickly. That's moving, guys. So, congratulations to you guys. Great season. Thank you. Another guy I'm not going to make speak, but I want you guys to acknowledge Josh Peppis. Does everything in terms of getting the word out on your accomplishments. He does a great job behind the scenes, guy. Tennis, men's and women's. Coach Sean Wiseman. All right, let's start to, uh, with the women. Uh, ladies, you know, it wasn't our best season. But uh, considering the amount of injuries we had, the fact that we were able to finish the season period was great. Won a few matches, needed to win a few more. We'll do it next year. Finished one spot out of the playoffs, so I was proud of that. You all finished higher than they projected you in the preseason. That's always good, right? Okay. So uh, let's do all academic team on the women, Whitney Lewis and Megan Wallace. Please stand. You all don't need to come forward. Just stand. Thank you. Um, Whitney and Megan, stand again, please. Inter the ITA Scholar Athlete Award, y'all won that as well. Congratulations. And then the whole women's team can stand up because the uh, you guys finished and you won the ITA Team Academic Award again this year for finishing with a 3.2 or above GPA. I think we're at a 3.3. Good job, ladies. And one more note about the girls because I'm a, kind of a nerd like this. Every single one of them had a higher GPA this year than last year which I thought was kind of neat. That means we're studying more. I'm happy about that. So thank you, ladies. Well done. Uh, men's team, um, yeah, we had a pretty good season this year. We made it to the playoffs, um, finished third, got to the conference semifinals, lost a tough match to UT Dallas. Um, you know, it was a really good season. We got to do better next year, and we know that. Um, so we're happy with what we got, but we want to keep working. So, but I'm proud of you guys. You guys have good work and uh, work harder this summer. Okay, um, when I call your name, stand up. Let's do the uh, All Academic Awards again. Bishop Bass, Marcus Bob, who I don't think he's here. Uh, Corey Dillard, Brian Ford, Greg Nags, Michael Skimbo, Alex Teagues, and Todd Turner. Uh, these are your all conference, all academic team. Thank you. The ITA Scholar Athlete Awards go to Bishop, Alex, and Todd. Congratulations. I think it was a three, six, or above, something like that. Um, and then the team won the ITA Team Academic Awards, so please, everybody stand up, because that's kind of cool. 3.25 GPA as a team. Well done. Um, all right, and then we'll do our 2014 uh, all-conference awards. Um, I'm happy to say that all of our top six guys that play were all-conference. So you guys, you six stand up. TK is not here, but the other five of y'all. Um, Bishop, let's see, Skimbo, you were your second team. Everybody else was third team. Doubles, we were all third team. So well done, guys. Very proud of y'all. And that's it. Who's next? One other note, just so you understand, there are things changing in the athletic department. Sean Wiseman, we just promoted to assistant athletic director, so give him a hand. Been throwing some work his way here lately. 
Uh, at this time, I'd like to talk about the baseball team for just a minute. I'd like for the baseball team members to stand. If you're on the baseball team, stand up. All right, we had 30 young men, and I want these guys to remain standing. These were the academic all-conference guys. Brandon Brewer, Nathan Cedar, Oscar Dominguez, Tyler Erickson, Danny Gable, Peyton Jonigan, graduating three years, by the way, Tony Morales, Taylor Parker, Sam Shook, John Singler, Bo Thomas, Adam Wainick, and then Geller is all conference in basketball. By golly, he's all conference in baseball. So stand up, Geller. Had a baby. Congratulations to these guys. I'd also, like to take a minute to acknowledge my coaching staff. I see Coach Ross back at the back. Stand up, Coach. Coach Mummy over here in the front. Son beat him up. That's why he's got a thing on his wrist. Done a great job. Coach Mummy's been with me back since 2007. So very, very honored to have these guys with me. And we had two student assistants this year as well. They did a nice job. KC Crook, I believe, is here. He was earlier. Or stand up, KC. And then Matt Piker, he's in class, which is where he needs to be. So I uh, so want to recognize those guys. Uh, as far as that, all conference awards, we have not done that. I actually got to go to Austin, Texas tomorrow, and we're doing that in person tomorrow night. So I don't, I'm, we're the only team that doesn't have that. And I apologize, guys, but we'll, I'll hopefully know something by the end of the week. So we will do that tomorrow and we'll, we'll take care of that at our individual banquet. Uh, the one thing I want to point out about these guys that I'm proud of, these guys, uh, they had a good attitude, worked hard, and what I was proud of, they battled. I mean, we'd get behind, we'd come back, get ahead, we just battled. And I, I think that's going to serve them well in life. And the other thing I'm pleased with is this group, this group of guys represents us well off campus. I can't tell you how many times I had people at the hotels or just parents or just people in passing that said, boy, you've got a group, good group of guys. They're well-mannered, well-behaved, and I appreciate that. So I'm really proud of those guys for that, and I think that's going to serve them well as they move forward. And we're going to graduate six seniors, actually seven seniors. Stand up. I'd like to see you guys. Jonigan, if you throw him in there, he's a three-year graduate. So stand up, seniors. We're going to miss these guys. These guys all came to as freshmen and have contributed every year that they've been here and uh, really had some nice years. Um, at this time, what we want to do is we want to move on to the uh, uh, school-wide awards, and we're going to start with the uh, – we're going to let faculty athletic rep Stacy Key come up here and give the ASC Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. And you can talk a little bit about that, and we'll have a male and female. First of all, it is my honor to uh, present these two awards. Uh, the qualifications, the American Southwest Conference Scholar Athlete Medal of Honor Award goes to one male and one female member of the graduating class who's compiled the most outstanding record in athletics, scholarship, and leadership. To be eligible for consideration for this award, the student athlete must have participated in a minimum of two years in a sport sponsored by the member institution. We'll start with ladies first. Whitney Lewis, please come forward. Whitney's from uh, Hartman, Arkansas. She participated in women's tennis. She's the SAC president. She made all conference. She's the ASC All-American team and the ITA Scholar Athlete. Congratulations to Whitney. And if Adrian Nunez would please come forward. Adrian from Flower Mound, Texas. Plays on the men's soccer team. He's ASC All-Academic Team, and he was the team captain. Congratulations to Adrian. All right, this time, one of those assignments I gave Coach Wiseman has come up here and uh, present the Male and Female Athlete of the Year Award, because he likes to talk and I don't. So here you go. Thank you. I do like to talk. Thank you, Jim. All right. Let's start with the ladies again. And he told me to stay on script, but I'm not going to. So uh, when this girl came in as a freshman, like I watched her play and I thought she was raw. Like she had awesome talent, but she hadn't quite corralled it yet. I'm happy to say that four years later and a whole lot of growing up has made her a really dominant player and somebody that I enjoy watching. Um, she's from Fort Smith. She's been all conference. She was second in the conference rebounding at 9.2 rebounds a game. Fourth in the conference in field goal percentage at 56%. Fifth in blocks at 1.6 a game. Uh, 9.5 points a game. She had four double-doubles this season. She was player of the week. She was an LASC team playoff qualifier. 
She had a 30-20 game against Sol Ross. That's what I've been waiting for for four years. Uh, Kendra Davis, come on up. All right, so the coaches vote for this athlete of the year, and uh, this was a rough one. This was a really tough vote. We had a handful of guys that were all deserving, and we could not come to consensus. So, in true fashion for uh, fair play, we uh, settled on two of them. So we have co-athletes of the year. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about one, and then I'll talk about the second one. We'll bring them both up here. Uh, the first one is, um, well, I'm trying to find something that won't give it away. Man, this dude is awesome. Uh, freshman from Ireland. Yes, that's probably only one person in here. Uh, men's cross country, all conference. Freshman of the year, four-time runner of the week. Seemed like every week you were runner of the week, man. You were fast. You were almost as fast as I am. Uh, USTF CCCA, I don't know what it stands for, but you were all region. That's probably impressive. Set a record for the AK, which I know Brian mentioned earlier. Uh, at 25.38, which is actually one minute faster than my best 5K time, in case you were wondering. Um, so that's really fast and makes me feel fat. Um, finished 13th at regionals and uh, USTF, CCCA, something cross country, all academic team. Ryan Hulk, come on up, man. Good stuff this year. Fat, lightning. Second player, I know a little bit better. Um, Lobbied really hard to get this kid to come to school here. Um, thankfully, the, co the coach from UFIS was an idiot and only offered him like a $300 scholarship. So I was like, we can do that. Just kidding. We didn't give him any money. Uh, <laughs> compliance officer here, too. Um, anyways, junior from Greenwood, Arkansas, men's tennis, three-time all-conference. He was also a freshman of the year, his freshman year. Went 11 and 2 in singles, 13 and 3 in doubles. He has a career 38 and seven singles record, 38 and nine doubles, just off the charts, man. Um, all ASC team, he was on the playoff tournament team. Um, all academic team, ITA scholar athlete, Bishop Best, come on up. And so uh, here, you, here you are, you're uh, co-athletes and female athlete of the year. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay, I want to thank everybody for coming out. That wraps us up for the evening. I want all of the award winners, male, female athlete of the year, scholar athlete of the year, come up here so Josh can get a picture of you later. If you would help us out by picking up your trash and putting it away, have a great night. Good luck on finals.